Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video and some more iOS 14 features. Now, this is an amazing update. I've been really enjoying iOS 14 and discovering a ton of new features that are hidden within iOS 14. Of course, a lot of them with the help of iOS beta on Reddit. So here are 20 more hidden features of iOS 14. On iOS 14, when you go to edit one of your contacts and change their profile picture, you can now also set an emoji as a profile picture. So you just go to the edit button right there. You can pick here the emoji button and you will have here all of your emojis. Of course, you can use the search bar, the new search bar of emojis as well. So you just go ahead and tap right there and you can add an emoji as a profile pic for any of your contacts and if you go to style then you can basically just change the color of the background of the emoji and that way you will have an emoji as a profile pic of or one of your contacts on the settings app if you go to general and go to software update you will see that we have a change here now we have customized automatic downloads now if you go here now you will have two options now previously it was just like automatic it will automatically download and install now you have those separated you can enable download ios updates so they will download on your device but not install automatically you can choose when you want to install them and then you will have the other option right here install ios updates updates now if you choose to, to enable this as well then the updates will be installed automatically a really cool feature on the notes widget is that when you set this kind of widgets for the note it will show you like a preview of your two most recent notes if you set the big one you have like five or six and you will see there the time when it was edited and all that now if you tap here on one of them it will actually open that note on which you tap so from here from the widget just tap any of the notes the recent ones that you want to open and it will be opened on the notes app a very cool new feature on automations on iOS 14. If you go to your automations and choose great personal automation, choose here time of the day. You can set here any time you want. So let's just choose that. Click next. Now you will have the ability to change the watch face of your Apple Watch automatically at any time you want. So you tap on add action right there and just choose here set watch face. So choose that tap on face right there and you will see a list of the watch faces and you can choose whichever one you want and then just go ahead click next just disable this so it don't doesn't ask you it just automatically changes that tap done and now you're good to go this automation will change the watch face on your apple watch automatically at the set time now with iOS 14 and the new app library, you have the chance to basically hide any of your apps from the home screen, but of course still have them on the app library and access them from there. So you just 3D touch here and you can go ahead and just remove the app and just place it on the library. You can also now hide folders. So if you 3D touch on any folder, you can tap on remove folder and remove from home screen right here and that folder will be placed basically the apps of the folder all of them at the same time will be placed on the app library now on your iphone of course you have the chance on the home screen to move multiple apps by selecting them at the same time now on the app library if you want to do the same you can do simply by going ahead and going to one of the folders go to the edit mode and all you have to do here is just select one of the apps you can see it will take you out of the library but just swipe twice here and then you can go ahead and select the apps that you want to add to the home screen and from here you will be able to basically drag as much apps as you want and place them on the home screen now when your device is not connected to the internet or your internet is just not working and you try to launch siri previously it used to launch siri and just basically stay a bit there on the screen and then it will tell you that there is no internet connection now on iOS 14, if I try to do that, you can see it will just show me a notification right there at the top that says that the iPhone is not connected to the internet and you cannot access Siri right now. On the music app on iOS 14, when you go to the search bar, now you don't have just the search bar right there. You will also have different categories of music right here that you can explore. So you just go ahead and tap on one of them and you can explore different music from that category. It's really useful and of course, very, very awesome to have this feature if you just want to discover new music on your iPhone. On the pictures album on iOS 14, Apple has added the same features 
as on all photos on iOS 13. So you can basically zoom in and out to easier find any photos you want. So you can see just like this, zoom in and out on the pictures. Also, if you want to share, let's say I want to share all these pictures here at the same time, all I have to do is just tap right there and tap on share photos. And you can see now all of them will be automatically selected. So you will have all the photos right here selected and ready to be shared. On iOS 14, you probably know that you have the ability to set captions for your pictures. On any pictures, just swipe up and go ahead and add the caption right there. Now, if you're trying to share pictures and they have captions, now you will have the option here. If you tap on options, you can see that little indicator right there. If you go here, now you will have two buttons. Now, previously we all only had this one right here, all photo data, and now you also have captions. So you can choose whether you want to include the captions or not when sharing pictures with captions. Another very cool feature that I really like and I'm really glad that Apple has added to iOS 14 is that now when you go to edit a picture, it won't automatically crop it when you go to the crop feature. Now, when on iOS 13, when you try to do this, if you have like a picture that is not straight or something, or basically the iPhone thinks it's not correct, it will automatically crop it and then you will have to reset this to auto the auto adjustment to basically go ahead and adjust it any way you like. Now that's gone and on iOS 14, all you have to do is just crop it any way you like. On the settings app of iOS 14, if you go to your profile, which is at the top of the settings app, you will find now a new section. Basically, this was iTunes and App Store. Now you will find media and purchases. It has been renamed and you will find other settings right here. So you will you can manage your payments, country, region and all that here. And you will also have your purchase history right here. And then lower here will have hidden purchases. If you go right here, you will find all the apps that you have purchased from the App Store, but are hidden from your purchase history. And you will find them right here. And you can, of course, go ahead and download them. If you want, you will have that button right there on the right side. The camera on iOS 14 is way faster, especially on the newer iPhones. Now you will have a new option if you go to the settings of the camera app. So you go to camera, you will have this option right here that says prioritize faster shooting. So basically it will make the camera faster. You will be able to shoot up to four pictures in one second. So four frames per second with this enabled right here. So Basically, it will just prioritize faster shooting, not picture quality or movement and all that, but you will shoot pictures faster if you need that, then you will find the setting right here. On iOS 14, you probably have heard that there is a new feature called sound recognition. It's found under accessibility and then right here, sound recognition, and you can go ahead and basically turn it on and turn on all the sounds that you want your iPhone to listen for and then notify you once it hears that sound. But if you go to control center, once you have that enabled, you will find here a new toggle that will be added for sound recognition. Now, what this allows you to do is go ahead and enable or disable sound recognition directly from here. So once it's red, you can see it's active. Once you tap on it and it's white, it says that sound recognition has been paused. On the weather app, if you have like a ton of cities added, you can go ahead and quickly scroll through them simply by tapping here at the dots. So tap and hold and you will be able to scroll through them just like by swiping here, just like you do on the home screen with the home pages. You can do the same with the cities on the weather app. You will also find now hourly forecast for cities. So you can see right here, New York next hour forecast and you will have the next hour forecast directly here and if you scroll down you will also find the air quality right here so for that city that you choose you will have both the hourly forecast and the air quality on the iMessage app on iOS 14, we have the new pin feature. So you basically can pin any of your conversations at the top. Now, if you tap on those little three dots right there, now you can go ahead and edit pins. Now, what this allows you to do is quickly add any conversation right there at the pinned conversations or just simply remove any one of them quickly from there. Now, at the beginning of the video, I showed you that you can set an emoji as a picture for one of your contacts. You can do the same for your picture on the iMessage app. So you probably know that starting with iOS 13, you have the ability to, to add a name and a profile picture for your iMessage. Now you can add any of the emojis as a profile picture for your iMessage app.
On the notes app on iOS 14, you now have the ability to create folders within folders. So here I have a folder with notes and I have another folder within this one. So all you have to do is just tap the little three dots and you can go ahead and add right here a new folder. So just tap add folder and you can type a name right there for the folder, click save, and you will have folders within folders on the notes app. So that is it for this video guys, these are 20 hidden features of iOS 14 which are really really cool and of course very useful. Thank you guys for watching, don't forget to subscribe for more videos and I'll see you on the next one.